Hello there, everyone. Michael here, playing The Lost Cases of Sherlock Holmes. As soon as I get through with the first case, I think you'll find out why all of these cases became lost. Case number one, the Zooch Emerald. I say, Holmes, was that the Duchess of Ashby Dale and Zooch I saw leaving as I arrived? It was indeed, Watson, a matter of missing jewelry. The Zooch Emerald, worth some fifty thousand pounds. Good heavens, Holmes, the bubble was stolen? Or so it appears. Come, Watson, the game's afoot. All right, top-notch animation. So let's go to the De La Zooch estate. This is a very simple challenge, just find the differences between these pictures. Free to play along at home, all you people who are watching this video. And let me see, it looks like there are two more things for us to find. Ooh. Oh, we have a toy mouse. We have Sherlock Holmes's pipe, so I guess he was at the scene of the crime before he arrived here. Maybe Sherlock is the thief. That would be an unexpected plot twist. And I'm not seeing the third thing, or the seventh thing, so let me show you how those pipes work. You click on it, and it shows you where one of the items you're looking for is located. This is a simple puzzle, just put all the pieces back where they belong. The Empress of Persia. Okay, we've found all the items. I may have formulated a theory as to the identity of the culprit. Excellent. I will need your help in examining the room adjacent in order to further my theory. Well, what is the theory? Let's see if we can find these items I suspect are in this room. Sherlock! I'm talking, my mouth is moving, but I'm not talking at all because my name is Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so what does Sherlock think is inside this room? Well, he thinks we have some tulips. Not sure why he thinks tulips would be in there. He thinks we have a teapot and three teacups. I don't know, apparently he thinks that the thief, after stealing the emerald, went to the room next door and had a cup of tea. That would make sense. I oh, say, Holmes, it really quite baffles me that a thief would take the most recognizable piece of jewelry and leave behind so many other items of value. Hmm, excellent. Anything else? Ah, oh, a teacup right there. And what am I missing? Two more teacups? There's one. Any, any tulips? Do you see any tulips anywhere? No. Found a mouse trap. There's a spoon. There's 
There's another spoon. And I'm not really seeing anything anywhere. Hmm. Oh. Spoon. Alright, let's use up some of our hints. Oh, I didn't see that mouse trap. There's a tulip. Let's see, where is the last teacup? Yeah? Over there. Excellent! Bad form, Holmes. Not informing us of your theory. You know my pride, and I hate to expose myself to ridicule until I am certain of success. Your ladyship, do excuse us. Watson, let us return to Baker Street at once. Alright, so Sherlock Holmes returns back to Baker Street for no apparent reason. And here, we can arrange the pictures of the culprits. Well done indeed. Okay, so figure out which thing was changed. Perfect. Yes. Nice work. Yes. Nice work. And our culprit is... the Empress of Persia. I have no idea how Sherlock Holmes figured that out, or why he had to return to Baker Street in order to figure it out, but he figured it out. Your ladyship, I am happy to return the Zooch Emerald. But how? And you promise to identify the thief? As to that, I draw your attention to these distinctive white hairs caught in the clasp of the brooch. The Empress of Persia? Indeed. I was able to retrieve the brooch and the catnip toy from the mouse hole, and I dare say, someone with better tools might find more in there as well. I'm simply speechless. How appropriate. Seems the cat's got your tongue as well. Ah ha! Ah ha! Oh, Holmes, you clever devil, you! Oh ho ho ho! I'm not going to be playing this game anymore. <laughs>